Hello everybody, this is Lord Magicus, and we're here for round four of Merfolk in Legacy, and we have some of the fish fam with us again, so we're on the play, so let's take it. Uh, he, um, I think nope, we have to nope, mulligan nope, this. Nope, 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 <laughs> One land is without vile. Mm. Oh, this is actually, like, just as bad. <laughs> it's more okay, though, because at least... They also have lands that do things. Yeah. This is not okay. We have. I think we mulligan this pick too. No, I don't think we do. I, yeah, I don't think going to. I don't think you can mulligan this hand. This trickster is never gonna win the game by itself. No, but the the, the things that you might like, you can't mulligan fun, at things that are at all functional, especially in a deck that's this mana hungry. Right. Like, well, having okay. a bunch of lands is, is a good thing overall. Because yeah. if you mulligan this hand back, you're just going to have to draw a bunch of lands anyway to win games. I guarantee if we keep this hand, there's, there's no way that we're going to win this match. Yeah, well, not, not this game. If you mulligan, mulligan this hand, the there's, less, there's, there's less chance to win. I would, I would rather keep, like, two lands and, like, three actual cards than prop than a bunch of stuff that doesn't... Alright, whatever. We'll, we'll do what you're going to say. That's fine. What do you want to put in the bottom here? I think we have to keep Teleria West, um, I guess, maybe Island... Probably basic island doesn't yeah. actually do anything. I don't think any of these cards do anything. <laughs> the other ones do things. They just need a little help that our deck might give us. But if you don't, <laughs> if you if you mulligan things that are at all functional, you just lose to that. Yeah, I don't like keeping five mana sources in one real card though. Like that's this isn't this isn't an aggro deck anymore. Like no, I I get that. We're we're so far away from like actually like doing stuff. Like what? Like a, a silver guild depth? Then we're in business. All right. Well, I guess we'll, we draw like a land and we just like instant die. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, I I sort of agree with Tux because like, I mean, you go down to five cards, right? And you potentially just have a worse hand than what you would have already had. The only way going down to five is better is if we literally draw like vile combo piece, combo piece, land, land. Like that oh. is the five that is better. And they That's kept the asking. Yeah, they they kept seven. So like, yeah, you know, I don't think that this barely functional six is gonna do very much. Most fives will be even more losing though, just because yeah, you like, can't eh, get that. No, I mean, that's at least you need the uh, Christmas, like the the absolute best five to have a chance. And that's just asking a lot of the deck. I feel like this is a Delver deck. Like I feel like Tarmogoyf might be a thing, so maybe Trickster will get to kill it somehow. Also, like once we get the the Riptide Lab, we can do Trickster plus uh, Riptide shenanigans. All right, come on. Hmm. Um, okay, so I guess I want to play a Boro Chalice in one. Yeah. Okay, well at least this plays around days, which is kind of nice. Right, we might see like Force of Will on this thing. I will accept him to Torak. You're thinking about it. Yeah, I mean, that's why, like, I'm always fine. If they want to Force Chalice, it's going to cost him a lot. Brainstorm. Okay, so that means they probably don't have a Force for this and they're just going to unload their hand out of one drop. Either that or they're looking for a better blue card to pitch because they're like, I want all these blue cards. Wouldn't you just pitch the brainstorm in that case? No, because brainstorm's really good, and they're all, they're all a bad card. Like, I would rather pitch, like, a Ponda if, if I find Well, one. I guess if you have something like Stifle in your hand, you would want to pitch that. Okay, they're, I think they're going to just brainstorm again. Or maybe Lightning Bolt me. Spell Snare. Oof, they found it. What the fuck is Spell Snare? In? Like, I guess this is Rug Delver. It has to be. Could be the Devilus deck that's running around lately. So I'm concerned that Oko might be a thing this turn. We play Tarmogoyf, that's kind of fine. Hooting Mandrels could be a thing too. Oh look, I called it. It is Hooting Mandrels, so it is in fact Rug Delvo. Okay, so yeah, I guess... There's nothing I can really do about that. Baron. 
Cancer is draw Baron. If we don't draw Baron, we probably have to transmute this Teleria West for something. Yeah. <clears throat> what tutor targets do you have? Is it just besides other lands? Um, Are there any like spells? Lands I and mean, chalice. chalice. We don't really want to get chalice. Though. So yeah. I guess we want to just keep this on two for this turn, right? And then mm -hmm. if we draw Baron, we might can reconsider later. It's not irrelevant. Uh, so I guess we could tr we could transmute this for Riptide Laboratory. Yeah, I like transmuting it for Riptide Lab. I don't know if I want to play the lab this turn though. So I okay, so we want to play Cavern or because I don't want to expose the Riptide to Wasteland first, right? Uh, yeah, we're not really doing anything with it, so this time, so we might as well not walk into it. Well, I mean, we probably still want the mana from this, so we still play Cavern and name, like, Wizard with it. Yeah. Wizard's good. Why is it... Uh, it it thinks that I might want to name Ape because Hooting Mandrels is over there. Interesting. Yeah. Alright, I guess we can just trickster this really down good. so we don't die this turn. Or start dying, I guess. This will be nice because then maybe Oracle can start digging for um, Paradigm Shift or something. Mm -hmm. Not that I expect that Paradigm Shift is ever going to resolve, but alright, combat step. <laughs> maybe we can find Baron actually, that would be very good. Baron would be fantastic. Okay, let's keep this thing from. We don't super need us. Baron right now. Well, we need something to start generating value, and Baron means we get to draw a card every turn with this <laughs> Oboro, so. Yeah. That's what I'm really interested in, because they have six cards and we have, like, two cards, and our two cards are not super good. Although looking four cards deep, if you do choose to wish to do that at the moment, is <clears> pretty <throat> nice. Well, I'm very likely going to do that just and then bounce it back with Riptide. I'm interested in just keeping tricks up at, like, all times here. Uh, yeah. that's... That's Goodbye, bad. Vile. If they, if they want to elk Vile, we, we can just kill it. Yeah. Oh, they just food. No, That's no. Fine. The correct thing to do with Oko in most scenarios is just take it up and make food. Well, yeah. Usually. Like, they already have a 4-4 in play. Like, like this is terrifying. <laughs> they can attack us for, like, 7 next turn. It's not great. Yeah, actually. Yeah, oh, well, Oko is another reason, like, Chalice is just, like, so bad in this format, because, like, it just undermines that card so much, and means, like, then all the decks that, like, you know, were used to be weak to Chalice get to just fucking run rampant because it's so terrible against this. Uh, so here's a question. Do I want to Vile in Oracle before I draw a card? I think so. That actually doesn't sound like too bad of a play, to be honest. Look for deep. I do that nature. pretty often, actually. I like it. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to do this now, because if we find something, like, we can act... They're, they're tapped out here, so we're yeah. pretty free to do this. We found True Name Nemesis. That could... Well, it's not uncounterable, though. That's the other problem. I like the Soul Guild up more. We can't. Even though it's super it's gonna awkward. it's gonna cost us five mana to cast that silver. Gill. I guess true name is better than that because of that. So yeah, I get the true name. The only thing, yeah, like I said, if we play true name, it's not gonna be protected against force. But maybe we just have to take that risk. We do. All right, true name, you're on top. Okay, so and we'll kind of like price into doing a bunch of damage to the Oko this turn anyway. So I, so I guess I want to attack with this Meteor Vault against this Oko, but I also don't want to get this Daze, so I kind of want to play True Name first. Just so they can't play Daze, and then I can play Riptide, activate Meteor Vault, and then attack Oko for four. So if I do this post-combat, they can Daze this after we already used two mana for this. 
All right, maybe we'll trick them and they just think it's uncounterable because we tap the cavern. Ha. That could be actually like kind of funny because uh... it's happened before. I've done that where they just like see the cavern tap and they just assume they can't counter it. Oh yeah, that's actually yeah. Yeah, it does happen. <clears throat> I like that art. That's nice. You mind zooming in on it real quick? I actually could want to look at it. It's um, I don't know how exactly to. Like... It's Q. Oh. If you hold Q, if you hold Q on it, uh, when you hover over it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. One sec. Yeah, no, yeah, he like looks EOG really more. cool. Oh, uh, they actually did use a force and they pitched a spell that's snare. That's fine. <laughs> All right, so I guess... And, yeah. I, and they threw away Spell Snare, which is actually kind of relevant, because we have, like, some two-drop two folks. Yeah, right. but we have a Cavern on Wiz Wizard and an Aether Vial. Spell Snare is yeah. not doing anything. We're going to get hoofed for seven damage this turn, which sucks. But we can't actually win the game while Oko's on the board. I'm surprised this card's still in Legacy. A lot of people feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> like, you have just, like, fucking voiced the sentiments of, like, the entire player base for the last, like, six months. <laughs> and I don't even play this format. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, like I said, it just, like, undermines Chalice a lot, and that's a huge problem. The same thing, same reason with, like, Veil of Summer. It just undermines, like, the police cards of this format way too much. And, like, that is not good for Legacy, in my opinion. Same way Arkham's Astrolabe, like, severely undermines Wasteland, so. Well, this is gonna hurt. We might have to start using this Trickster defensively. Never mind, they're gonna probably kill the Laboratory. Yeah, Laboratory is the problem for them here, so they're gonna kill it. Why is it? Oh, I, I don't want to block this. That's, that's be terrible. <laughs> that would be terrible. Food is green. Nope. Yes. Also, snake is green. Why does this not say... It says food elk. Uh, it doesn't change the name of it to elk. It just... Becomes an elk. Yes. It becomes an elk creature. That's... Yeah. They took away Mutiful! What, what What kind of crack are you smoking, opponent? They probably, this... don't, see... <clears throat> they probably don't see the line yet. They're kind of... probably don't see that. Never mind, we're just dead. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> we are... getting Delvin here. Alright, um... I guess... Doesn't even matter? Mm -hmm. I mean, not really, because you're going to tap yourself out to... Yeah, it's going to take three mana to bounce something. I could, I could bounce Oracle and try to find something, but then I only have, like, one land to do stuff with. Which, I mean, yeah, and at that point you're not really doing anything. Let's see, even if I draw like Paradigm Shift, it doesn't actually do anything right now. Yeah, we're just like wanting to just trick that every time. All right. And then Oko's just gonna take over the game here. Yeah. Pretty much. That is useless. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're dead. I guess another option is we can block with Oracle on the food token and then bounce it and re-trigger it. Doesn't really help us. I mean, it helps us a little, I guess. That's the best we can do. All right, let's play Ether Vial. Maybe if we're lucky, I don't know. I have I have no um, plan here. I think we just die to this Red Delver deck. Like if we had that, that another mana, then maybe we could do something. This, I think the combo in this match is just like really bad. It's super bad. Yeah. Like, we have no hope without grinding Oko at this point. Yeah, so you, so you have, like, it's kind of funny, because, like, you, Oko makes you want to play the combo, so you can't outgrind it, but also you just can't actually, like, like the combo is just too many bad cards in your deck that Delva just says, like, well, my cards are better than your cards, so you just die now. No, oh, they have Lightning Bolt. Neat. Okay, I'm just getting seating. So we're super dead. <laughs> Good job, opponent. Uh, I think we want Harbinger. This is like one of the matches I wanted yep. this card for. And this member. Yeah. And I think. I want Relic for this build. 
I think Paradigm Shift comes out here. Paradigm Shift, all but one copy comes out. You want to have one copy just in case. Alright, well we have to take out four more cards. I mean, I don't really believe in Chalice against them at this point. Um, Chalice is still it's, useful. It's since, fine, but like... Since we de-emphasize the combo, we also don't want the oracles very much. If we happen to just randomly mize into both halves, then that's cool, but we're not trying. I'd say, like, maybe, like, have, like, a, to take out two Chalice and two Dasses and maybe call it like that. That doesn't seem awful. Because if you just draw them, then it seems nice. I guess. Yeah, like... Yeah, the problem is, like, Oko, really, because you can't rely on Chalice to just, like, lock them out of the game because they can just set up a game plan totally around it and ignore it entirely. Because Dasa's yeah. Oracle still has utility uh, outside of just being a it does. Like, it, It's a wizard. It doesn't. Well, it really mostly doesn't. Yeah. I guess we just have to do it like this. <clears throat> I don't like keeping Force in, but I don't really... I think we need it because Oko has to get countered. Alright. Let's do this. I would love to be in the play. Uh, this hand, no. I th yeah, we have to keep this, right? It has true name and vile. Yeah, you have to keep this hand. And they might be interested in, like, doing stuff to the vile, because tome one vile is pretty scary. They have to, they, like, basically have to force tome one vile. Yeah, I'm totally fine if they want to force vile. Oh, we're in the upkeep still. I still have a trigger in this. Okay. I really don't like three ether vials, though. Like, they're not that good in multiples. <laughs> They really aren't, but well, yeah. I, I like having I like having two in my starting, but three is a bit much. All right, let's see what do you, you basically got? just have like five lands. No turn one Delver is good, and no Force in the Vial is also probably good. Oh, come on! All right, do I just jam both Aether Vials? Let's see why, why not. They don't have, like, Maelstrom Pulse S effects, right? No. So. But it just shows that our hand is really weak if we just kept three Aether Vials. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're probably not going to do anything with them now. No, the, there's no pointing with, with the Vials. Yeah, look, opponent's just like, hmm. Hmm, <laughs> indeed, man. It is like actually out, out, like getting rid of the spell snares and stuff like that. So it's not the worst. Yo, know, look, we have a full house: two islands and three ether vials. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aethertron. Like, there's literally no reason for us to cast a spell other than like paradigm shift for the rest of the game. Yeah, basically. Um. It's actually still pretty handy though, and it opens actually up a lot of your like, man, uh, like, land sink. I guess if that yeah. makes sense. Like, <laughs> the, um, Beats his pair. Your lab is a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, it makes a lot of your like utility lands a lot more useful yeah, because we, now you have you can basically just do them for free basically. If we were playing poker, we'd be winning. <laughs> True. All right, take up. Yes. It's like you're playing triple Hearthstone. Tick up. Okay. I mean, it's a blue card that pitches to force, so. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean. I don't maybe... We don't really have a good solution to the uh, true name, so once it hits, it's just there. Yeah, but the problem yeah, is if, like, it. Oko resolves, then, like, true name isn't even enough to, like, race Oko. It's okay. It's. Yes and no. Alright, well, uh, this looks, like, promising. So they don't have a three lands right now. That's good. <clears throat> they haven't really done anything. No, uh, well, the first, like, few turns of the game, Delver's always just going to cast a bunch of cantrips until they find, like, a bunch of uh, threats and... Threats, and yeah. Game, maybe... they, they really want to just play a threat out and then want to play the cantrips, but playing cantrips first is good for us. Mm-hmm. They'll wait until they can back it up with stuff like Pyroblast or whatnot. Yeah. Maybe, maybe even like Veil of Summer. Oh, 
Come on. Damn, damn it. All, they, have, they have so much one-man interaction with Pyroblast, Hydroblast, and Veil. Vale. That's kind of why Chalice is still pretty tempting. Yeah, it, it's... I don't know. I feel like they have more than enough. Alright, so I guess if we draw a Thassa Oracle, we have a shot, but... Yeah, eh. We can take our chance and just see if we can get yeah, there. Play, like... I'd rather still pitch the Paradigm Shift and just pair the other force with another blue card and use, uh, and just lean on the true name. As well yeah, as we can. we'll probably have to do that. The problem is, though, like, true name Nemesis is also not very good against Hooting Mandrills, so if they end up playing it's that... Still, it's also okay. Like, it's okay. We'll have enough Temple Tools to swing the block. I hope probably. so. Yeah, like... Like one trickster is enough to get get the job done in that regard. Um, no, Clothis is whatever. I think we just let this I am resolve, not right? In challenging a Clothis. Whatever. Yeah, it's not that's not that big a deal. Because it also looks like they might be representing Veil vale of Summer too, which is not great. Do they do they actually play that, or this is this just this person's fun of? No, they do play it. Cool. Uh, I think a lot of this is like tech against the other Delver decks because like. They yeah. they are playing stuff like Dreadhorde Arcanist and like um and Hooting Mandrill, so like this eats the opponent's graveyard so that they can't play it's those things. It's not pyroblastable. Things that are not pyroblastable are like really important in Legacy. So no, no, and no. Pyroblast is the red counter spell, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. Get in our attack. Maybe we'll start hard casting forces at some point. I mean, it's not a bad option. Uh, honestly, I kind of don't hate the spot we're at right now. Oh, this this spot is great. As long as nothing particularly changes, we're doing great. Well, our... Yeah, I guess... Unfortunately, they have a lot of good top decks. Well, they, this is going to buy them a ton of time, because they, they gain two life a turn, basically, for the rest of the game. And this is a clock against us as well. Yeah. So we need some help with this. True name is not going to be enough to outrace this thing. It will kill us before we kill them. Yeah, plus this is really good. It is. Um, there's a reason they play this card. <laughs> it's yeah. really, really good. It's basically redefined modern Ponza because like this card is just like very, very good in their main deck. Ponza, quote unquote. Yeah, it's like not even Ponza anymore. It's just like red green aggro. Cool mid range. Yeah. Lol. Lol. <laughs> I still call it Ponza just to keep the spirit of the name, even though if it's, even though it doesn't really play there, like there, that. There is no more spirit of that name in that deck. I guess if we draw like they relic. lost that when they cut decided to cut Monvoli Acid Moss. I guess Relic would be a good top deck. Well, it could be good. Yeah. Well, it could be pretty good. Not that good, but fine. It'd save us some life from these cantrips, but yeah, they have yeah. seven cards still. Like again, like nothing. What? How do you not have a creature to play? Uh, they went over reactive on the um, sideboard plan. Yeah, they probably are just holding up a billion counter spells. That probably they are. Like that's. They do actually nothing. Okay, I mean, I, the relic. Do I want to attack first or play the relic first? Doesn't really matter. Yeah, I was gonna say, does it matter? Sure. It's, I don't. I don't know. Do we? If we even fight over this, to be honest, like. Nope. No. Uh, I wouldn't. Okay. Do I want to crack it and draw a card? <laughs> Not yet. I would do it in response to the trigger. Cause like, what are we gonna draw that we can't just violin pretty much? Uh. Well, I guess if we draw Thassa's Oracle, we might want to just win the game right now. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Especially with seven cards in hand. Nah. <laughs> Let's just wait until they put the trigger in the stack and then crack it. Although, at this point, I just like. I would just hope that, to see that you just draw a lot of creatures. That's the hope. Okay, so here I think I have to do this. Goodbye. It saves us two life at least. <clears throat> stifle? They're gonna stifle it. Um, I guess I just have to let that. Ha Why did they keep this card in? I guess they're just worried about well, Oracle. No. I guess so, but whatever. Alright, I guess this is just gonna happen, right? I can't afford to burn a force in this. Nah. Well, it was gonna happen regardless, so... Oh, well, 
wasteland. Yeah, I don't think wasteland matters. Oh, goody. Uh, I feel like this is something we need to force. Yeah, I, turn, turns out Oko can win the game. Crazy oh, we got to force that. Turns out. So, if I want to, for I guess, force pitch the paradigm shift and just remove all hope yeah. that that's going to be a thing. Yep. No, in the they have power. a pyroblast because probably. There's no way that they don't. That. Like they definitely have pyroblast. That's why they, they, uh, that's why they had to have like kept up this volcanic island. Well, yeah, whatever. Because I, I mean, if Veil vale of Summer was the thing, they would have just kept the tropical island up. So well, we are drawing like shit. So. Wow, that is so much one mana interaction against blue cards. Yeah, Jeez. but again, like Chalice wouldn't really do very much because, again, like Oko is just a problem. So, damn, Rugdiver seems pretty busted. At least we it can cast our force for now. A long time, yeah. Well, it it used to be beatable busted. I don't know if it's necessarily beatable busted now. I think it it might be closer to unbeatable busted. Like, this this card is, like, a huge problem in this deck. It's just too good. Like, if you're going to play Delver, like, you really need to be playing... You have to sacrifice, kind of, like, the long, like, mid-rangey, grindy plan in order to, like, have a tempo plan. But Oko just really lets them do both things, and that's not okay. Like, even Dreadhorde Arcanist is also a problem in that regard, where it's, like... That, oh yeah, because it's just a complete value engine. Yeah, like... You Delver just cannot be allowed to have value engines. Yeah, we, we can't be uh, doing that. That's just not good for magic. Like, that's the line where, like, Delver starts to be a problem is when they're basically drawing two cards a turn. Like, no, that's too much. Delver is fine when, when it's like, I am nervous about winning every game ever, but I somehow get there. This is mm. too late. I can transmute it for like I don't know, Mutavault, I guess. Relevant. No, because they have Wasteland, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah. I don't you think can, you could transmute it for Chalice and make them do something about it, but that's some that's not very useful. Uh I think that's kind of the best thing we have going on this turn though. Yeah. Stifle. They could. That's an option. They could. It'd not be bad. Not be very relevant either, but... I, I don't think I can attack either because, like, we're in a lot of danger of dying. Because of, uh, if they have, like, a lightning bolt, we just lose. Okay. They stifled it. Yeah, if they bolt us next turn, We're then... just super dead. Yeah, like, the, there's no way to come back from this. It, like the food can just attack us and then this deals two damage and then they just have like lightning bolt and that would be game over but here like even just bolt means this kills us next turn which is also equally bad I think Baron is like, like yeah like this becomes a food next turn like there we are amazingly overkilled <laughs> alright and it wouldn't be nice if Murpho had some sort of nice value engine that can win the game over the couple turns of the game. It would be nice, wouldn't it? This is not enough. Because even if we, like, block, like, the Tarmogoyf and, you know, we're still taking three damage and then two from that. I think you're just probably, I think you're just dead next turn, even, like, without attacking. I think they're just holding up Bolt. Well, if, yeah, so, like, I'd have to, what I have to do is basically tap one of these things down pre-combat and then block, block, and then maybe I can go to three, and if they don't Still have bolt... Super rough. Yeah, like, it does, and there's no reason to hold on here either, because it's not like yeah. we're going to draw anything, but... We'll do it, just we're going to give everybody a show, show that we went down fighting. <laughs> Maybe I can bait them into using another stifle. 
<laughs> I would have, uh. Huh. Yeah. I'm just not sure about the future of this kind of deck when Delva feels so well for a matchup. Like, we still, like, winnable, but. Well, like I said, this it, it, if. This deck feels way, way rough. Because the problem with, with Delva now is that Master of Pull Try and Lord of, Lord of the Last used to be, like, well, like our best cards in the matchup. They do nothing now. They just don't do anything. Well, this is what I what I'm gonna say happen. though is um uh oh you know what I guess it doesn't really matter either way like I can't kill this thing so because I still have to block both of these. They had a third stifle. Okay, did they? Usually oh, yes. Stifle is you okay, and then and they have the bolt anyway. So All right, just well, like so death. yeah, normally like if Chalice of the Void is actually a relevant card in the match, then like you know the Lords are actually relevant because then there's stupid lightning bolts and stifles and whatnot. They don't matter because they just get countered by Chalice. The yeah. problem though is that they have like stuff like Oko here, where it, they just like say, "I don't have to worry about Chalice. I just have to resolve Oko, and then he will unlock all my spells, and then I just win the game anyway." Right. So, so if this card goes away, then I think you know this kind of deck could succeed against this because then Chalice would actually have meaning against them. But I just as it is, I don't think it does have meaning, and that's one of the problems. Yeah, pretty much. So, all right. Well, that was round four. We will be back for what it, the last round, right? So we have we are one in three right now. So I just feel like force negation is a better card than like. Yeah. All right. Well, that's then the... War of Atlantis and Master Pool trying so like just cut the masters. Yeah, maybe. All right. I'll see you next time.